We are a family of six who call the ocean our home. We feel incredibly blessed to be doing this life together as a young family, embracing the ups and downs of what is a life at sea. This is our floating home, Happy Days, and you are invited to follow along as we share this incredible adventure. Have a laugh and be inspired to pursue a life less ordinary. Click the subscribe button to keep up to date as we see where this journey takes us. In the last episode, we smashed out more jobs to prep happy days for the Pacific Crossing. In this episode, we get bumped up the list and get to go through the Panama Canal early, this time from the Atlantic to the Pacific. If you didn't see our last canal transit, you can click on the link in the corner to watch it now. Otherwise, sit back and enjoy this transit with us. <laughs> These guys are arguing like old nanas. <laughs> They're still old nanas. So I think I solved the problem. I can't eat with my left hand. Two, -headed beast. two heads, one arm yep. each. <gasps> I got the right hand. <laughs> so <laughs> she's struggling to eat. <laughs> Might be a little bit more Are challenging we... as the day goes on. Mm. At least Archie knows what the time is. I know how to mm -hmm. do it. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> toilet time. That could be awkward. <laughs> <laughs> you guys better start learning how to cooperate pretty quickly. <laughs> Last time you left us, we were in the marina, but we finished our jobs and while we waited to transit the canal, we decided to anchor at Linton Bay. And that's where we are when we get the call up. We're going! Yeah! So fill those in who are uh, playing at home, what, uh, what's transpired in the last 12 hours? Well, we had a transit day for the 7th, which is like um, five days away. But last night our agent called and he said that we can transit today. Well, tonight, tomorrow. Uh, we don't really know yet, but like today. <laughs> can you tell Bella's excited? So yeah, we uh, have been waiting patiently here in Linton Bay and uh, got the call that there was a cancellation to transit the canal today so we're upping anchor right now the boys are getting it done we've got a short 23 nautical mile sail to shelter bay where we pick up all the long long lines and whatnot dock lines and big fenders for the canal we'll either be heading off later today or first thing tomorrow morning so we're very excited and uh ready to go <laughs> let's do it our approach to the breakwater at uh the Atlantic side yes. for what should be the last time. Finishing yeah. this this Who knows this loop. When, when in our life we may be back. Yes. Well, let's Maybe just. Maybe when Bella's sailing sailing her own vessel and she needs us as line handlers one day. Maybe. I wouldn't put it past her. She'll probably go around the bottom then. Yeah. <laughs> She'll be like, nah, the canal. I've done that done twice. Done that. Going around. We'll be going under that bridge shortly. <laughs> Hola. Hola. Uh, Chris. Edwin. 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 Both monkey fists on the port side. We're about to receive now. Looking good. I've had a full crew. <laughs> First lock of the canal. Yep. Going up. We just said goodbye to the Atlantic. We're on our way to the Pacific. Thank you for your support, guys. Nine meters of elevation, and that's uh, the view you get looking back down on the Atlantic. We are so high. Just moving out of the last, well, the first lock. We're going to go higher again. We good, Pip? Yeah. All lines in, team. Yes, yes. A wonderful experience. 
And is, it, is it what you thought it would be like? More grandos or slower or? I thought it would be faster actually. It's it fine. It's just nice pace, nice flow. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we've got loads of time to talk and catch up and sort out the world. Yeah, exactly. I think one of the quickest bits is actually going up, hey. Well, we go from here to here quite swiftly, but it's the waiting between them that takes a while. So technically you need to have four line handlers over 18 uh, when transiting the canal. Even though our crew, our young crew is more than capable, uh, in this sort of scenario, it's best to abide by said rules. So uh, we paired them up, and uh, everyone's involved in being a part of it, and I think it's awesome. Over here is the actual real legend. He knows what's going on. Woody, give us a wave. Give us a wave, a thumbs up. <laughs> he's, the, he's the veteran. Ew. The advisor Edwin heads home for the night, while Joe, Anna and Udi stay with us on board and enjoy a night on Lake Gatun, or as Archie likes to put it, The Palantic! We're halfway through our transit and we'll complete the rest tomorrow. Good. Break your time? Yeah. I think you should pu push that honey bottle away from you, Tom. <laughs> no reason. <laughs> Is the lake in the middle of the Panama Canal. Um, so yeah, engines it is. Just don't give us a hard time if you're not sailing when you can see the winds, okay? <laughs> we won't be sailing when we can't. Uh... Just pulled up to this another big boy here. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, Hoodie is actually standing on it. That's how close we are, so it's going to tie up to this guy while we wait for a massive ship to come through in a skinny bit of the uh, of the lake. This is the big boy we were waiting for. So uh, Ted's releasing the lines or the liner from this big guy. Bread. Oh, you're amazing. Everyone, makes it. So good. Crocodiles, any? No. Yeah. Got the right gear though. <laughs> you look ready to see them. I wonder if they saw you. It's nearly midday and we've hit the next lot of canals. Also and it's been. very hot. Oh, it oh, is oh, so oh, oh, hot. <laughs> Six knots of breeze. We've we'll been waiting uh, for the breeze. The sun is hot. Yeah. It's sweaty. It's pretty sweaty. The advisors is trying to get us permission to be able to go into the lock and tie it off. But I think we're waiting for another boat to come from behind. Us. I don't know. I'm not sure. Anyway, all is good. It's At the good. moment, it seems like it's just that. <laughs> off in the lock at Pedro Miguel. I thought we were going through it on our own <laughs> but we've just tied off so that we can wait for the ship. There's a ship that will be coming behind us and we don't know maybe it's this 
massive one that I can see coming under the bridge or maybe we have to wait longer. Anyhow, it's quite hot. We're looking for shade and breeze at the moment. I have to say, going through the canal the second time is not as exciting as the first time. <laughs> but it is a means to an end. It means that we'll be back in the Pacific and we can set sail to French Polynesia. Meanwhile, everyone else is getting some things ready to snack on. We've got Marmite scrolls, some veggies and hummus. Think, if you can see it from I here. know, I just zoomed in on it. Do you think that'll be the ship behind us? I hope not. I hope not. I think it might be too big to come in this canal maybe. Yeah. Here it comes. This ship is sloshing in behind. <laughs> That's enormous. And then we've got another massive one behind them and all the tourists behind us. <laughs> I know it doesn't seem like we're like super pumped. That's good. Uh, and we've got like, we're getting pumped with diesel fumes from these tourist boats behind us. <laughs> but we're pumped! So happy to be back in the Pacific. Yeah. Um, well, we're not quite there yet. We're no, suspended we're about the, nine meters above. We're still in the Pan Atlantic. <laughs> the what? The Pan Atlantic. Pan Atlantic. So, uh, takeaways from doing it in one day versus two days. I think I prefer one big day. I do, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. But it was cool spending a night on the lake. That was, that was neat. It's not bad. Oh, positions. Go time. I mean, whether you go through in one day or, or, or spend a night, uh, both, are, both are amazing experiences. It just seems a little more slow paced and when you do it in two days, a bit more waiting and whatnot. Um, but that's okay. It's not something that you really want to rush, I guess. What do you think? What? About what? Life. It's awesome. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Mostly awesome. Mostly awesome. I can see the fish and the waves. <laughs> happy days. Hold your horses happy days. Not yet. Not yet. Where are we? The sun came out when we got here. Yeah. I think there's only one reason why, what do you think that is? Because we're now in the Pacific again. No! Yay! In the Pacific! Yes! 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 I'm so hot and sweaty. <laughs> you guys have been working out there in the sun, eh? Oh yeah, my favourite part by far is pulling the liner. Ah, yes! Oh, no, it's you got to hustle. Hey, yeah. it's so rewarding. So, next step, uh, we're dropping the advisor off at the bridge, just after the bridge up here. Yeah. And then we're dropping the fenders and lines off at the Balboa Yacht Club. I think Udi is going to depart from us here, the champion that he is. Yeah. Udi is still working like an absolute animal. I know. It's alright, he's fed well, he'll be fine. <laughs> and that is a wrap. Just like that. Yep. Back in the Pacific. Woo. I think Joe and Anna are going to hang out for a bit before we drop them back to the city. Nice. And then, um, it's time to start provisioning and planning. Getting serious. Getting serious. Yay! How's it feel? Yeah, it feels great to be on the other side. Is it the first time on a boat in the Pacific? It is, definitely. Oh, yeah. Yes! Uh, <laughs> hey, as soon as the doors opened, I saw like birds swooping for fish. It's amazing. <laughs> How long are we going to be here? Uh, maybe a week. 
Oh, I reckon longer. Oh, but before the crossing or before um, Las Perlas? Like Las Perlas. Yeah, sure. Anyway, we're loving it. Because we've just got here, right? There we are. Where are we? Oh, yes. In the next episode, we provision and the captain thinks we might be a bit too heavy to sail well. And we explore the city while we wait for the weather for our biggest journey yet. Was it? Do a funny dance. Yeah. <laughs> How did I go? <laughs>